Welcome to Fintech in Films, where we analyze and disrupt our favorite shows. This is Billions, we're with Wags, the CEO of hedge fund Axe Capital. He's pushing the team to find some trading ideas, and it's not going well. It's time for you folks to sharpen your pencils, and you better come back with one Tracy Lawrence of an idea. Challenge accepted, but it's not very clear, so I had to Google it, and... Okay, wow, 15 year of age. Uh, maybe we need more definition. And if you need that fucking defined, here it is. A barely legal, market-dominating, brilliant cocksucker of an idea. All right, that's much clearer. Showtime, folks. Let's start with barely legal. We're looking at companies that are not scared to play with legal limits. Companies get, that get fined for receiving illegal tax incentives or for fixing price like Apple. Companies that don't play fair with competition like Amazon, Google, or others that don't really care about privacy, lie when they buy other companies, or do dodgy deals with data or companies that may be worth $1.5 trillion that manage to pay very little tax and get away with it. We can check that. What about the market dominating aspect? Here we want them to have a large market share, like Google and Facebook with digital ad spend, or Amazon Prime for e-commerce. But that's not enough. We want something that won't let new competitors into the market. And you can see how funding for anything that competes with Google, Facebook, Amazon is dropping spectacularly. Or a company that can apply a tax for all other companies publishing on its hardware and can use it to promote its service against its competitors to gain market shares even when customers prefer competitors like Spotify that has a much better net promoter score than Apple Music. And what's the effect? Look at the added market capitalization compared to large competitors. Since April, Facebook and Google have grown by about one Disney each. Amazon has added 1.5 Walmarts. And with the market dominating part, what about the rest? So we want companies with a lot of smart people, but not many people. Hey, this is not about job creation, right? No, no, no. So big market cap per employee, lots of lobbies to cement their position and protect their base, and businesses that accelerate during crises like the lockdown. So what does that mean in terms of performance? Up 35% in 2020 when the whole market is barely flat. So there you go, Wags. You just wanted one Tracy Lord of an idea. Well, you've got four. Good fucking answer. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. This is a bit different from pure fintech. I hope you liked it. But with the congressional hearings, I just couldn't resist. All the charts are from Scott Galloway and his amazing team at Section 4. Check out the super channel. Please subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to debate about the antitrust hearing.